Hi there, it's Terhi here again. Um, today I have a special day. I'm playing with Pebbles Papers, but um, not at our home. I will soon show you where and why. <laughs> but um, um, the main thing today is to play with pretty papers and do some really colorful spring bread, actually a bread to our spring party. I want to have a lot of colors on our walls and this piece will look super cool. Um, this collection of papers is Sun and Fun from Bebel's new release and I really love how colorful it is. I cut up some world flowers uh, with my silhouette and some other die cuts as well. But all these papers are from the same the same line, so um, I think they go so beautifully together. So what I'm doing is that I'm rolling up the flower and then loosening up a bit and adding hot glue drops to attach it. And here you can see another version of how it looked. And um, I'm at our local flower shop um, creating this project because I love the way it looks there. It's so beautiful and um, it's quite inspiring to be around real flower flowers and blooms and green stuff and actually create some flowers and bloom blooms and green stuff and um, it felt great and I'm really grateful for the opportunity. Um, so I'm rolling up all these flowers. Uh, I'm using a small brush to make it a bit easier and also because I want to fold up some petals of these uh, layered flowers. It will uh, make them look more real and more um, more shapes to the petals and to the flowers and they look, I think they look better like this. Um, anyway, I'm not using anything else but the hot glue today to attach all these papers together because the hot glue is so quick to use and also really easy to use with a huge product project like this is. Um, uh, I first thought about making some kind of rainbow color thing, but um, these colors are working so well together without um, ordering them around too much, so it's better to just mix it up everything and it will look good. Um, it's a bit hard to, to decide if I would feel everything about this uh, black metal hoop. Uh, it's about 16 inch wide, quite a bit big. <laughs> so I decided to add um, the flowers in two sections. One will be bigger one here at the bottom part of the hoop. And, um, second part will be on the top part of the hoop and I will add much more flowers to the here to the bottom and to the top part. Um, I'm just gluing up everything and as you can see it's already <laughs> really good to go so thanks to the hot glue this is quite quick and easy phase of the project. The rolling part and layering part was quite a lot slower. So what I'm doing is that I'm first adding the big ones, the larger ones, and uh, then going smaller and smaller. This way it will look like really real. And, uh, you can actually see how how big the design will be. Um, I'm first adding all these flowers, not playing with any green stuff yet. Um, I have all these 
um, those uh, green leaves ready to go. But I first wanted to add all these flowers. Then I'm turning this all um, thread around and starting to add this green stuff as it would be in like real potato blooms uh, flowers um, you don't see the green stuff first the green stuff is supporting the design from the back so that's why I'm doing this this way and I hope you get the idea of why I do it and why it's important to do it this way so here you go um, I decided to add some embellishments not too much but some and of course flowers and butterflies are going well together and I love them both so I decided to fussy cut some butterflies and add few here and there not too much just few and um, to the bigger uh, blooms to kind of balance the colors and then once I'm finished I can start photographing it and I really love that part too um, I really hope you are inspired by the thread and the making video um, and I hope you have fun creating your own uh, if you have any questions just leave them here and I will be answering as soon as possible thanks for watching and I will see you again soon bye